Continuing on with looking at different types of screw extractors. So again, for a technician to have the ability, one, to detorque something correctly, and from prior videos, torquing procedures done correctly, sometimes in the event of detorquing something or torquing something, fasteners may snap or break in a hole, flush in a hole, down inside a hole, or maybe even protruding from the hole. If it's protruding from the hole, the procedure for removing it can be a little easier than one that is flush or one that is recessed or down inside the hole. So a couple different tools I want to introduce here and I'm not really going to go through the process of the uh, practical application of it but understanding that these tools are available as there's basically three different types of screw extractors that are in the marketplace for application and as well as for technician preference because once you've had an opportunity to do this process uh, then you can determine which tool works the best and then buy the appropriate tools or the shop uh, has the tools available at a hand for that technician. So usually it's upon the request of the technician to say that these particular styles work better than this particular style. So just taking a quick look at the different style of extractors, there's basically three types of extractors. So this one here is a spiral type screw extractor and a hole gets drilled usually about half of the diameter of the maximum width of this width of this extractor and then this extractor gets hammered down into the broken fastener and then using the appropriate size socket or wrench to be able to turn it back out. So this, when we turn this out, it bites into the fastener because of the spiral teeth that are on this. And then it bites into the threads and then it can extract that bolt. Now, depending, the technician may also want to add heat or do a heat and quench process, which is heating and cooling typically three times and then using, then putting the extractor in. Never heat with the extractor in place because you take the case hardening out of the extractor and that can cause the extractor to break off inside the fastener that you're, that is already broken off. So now it becomes even more of a problem to get it out because a lot of times these tend to be harder than the fastener grade type material. So if you're taking out a grade eight, these may be a grade, or pardon me, a grade five bolt, these may be a grade eight or even higher uh, so that they don't become damaged and don't break off. So don't remove the case hardening by heating and quenching with these in place. So that's the screw type. The next one I wanna talk about here is the taper wedge type. And it tells you right on the tool, same with these ones, it tells you exactly what size drill bit that you're going to use on here. So it says right here, 3 16 is the drill bit size you're gonna use for this particular size of extractor. And the 3 16 again, gets it usually up about halfway on the taper wedge. Now on this taper wedge, we'll use a little bit of a larger one here. Um, the edge of it is tapered down the drill bit gets used the corresponding drill bit size and this one happens to say that it's a 9 16 drill um, so we would drill probably about up to about that particular point being around 9 16 then we hammer this in with a hammer and it bites on the four protruding edges and they're kind of sharp not sharp enough to cut you, but sharp enough to bite into the broken fastener when they're hammered in place. And then a 12 point socket can be used on the top or a square female drive that adapts to this goes on the top or just a um, box, box end wrench because it's gonna be 12 point also. So the, the technician can pick the preference of the tool and the length of the tool to increase the torque to be able to pull this out. Okay, so again, you never heat and quench that fastener while it's in place. Now what I've done in the past is I've drilled these out, I've drove them into place, you just tap them or wiggle them out, then you can heat and quench. Now you've already started the wedge process into the fastener, you put it back into the same spot, hammer it down, and then it can be turned out and it works very well. 
technicians don't really want to always say that they're good at removing broken screws, typically because of the fact that it's a process we really don't want to do all the time. So we don't want to say we're very good at it, which means we're good at breaking stuff off, but we're also learned the process of removing the broken uh, fasteners. So the next one we're going to take a look at here is a round or a straight style blade type of extractor. And it has protruding edges on it. Inside this kit here that I'm showing you, it has a bunch of different ones, different sizes. There's ones for pipe taps in here because a pipe tap is a, is a tapered thread, NPT, National Pipe Thread, it's a tapered thread. So there's ones particularly for NPT or National Pipe Threads, so the taper threads. These are for standard threads. They come with the corresponding drill bit size. There's collars for putting them on so that you only drill so far into the fastener. So you don't want to drill through it. You want to drill down into the fastener. And then just like the, the wedge style or the screw style, uh, you would take this and once the hole is drilled to the appropriate size with the drill chart that's on here for the drill and the um, pipe size that you may be using, then you take this and you drive it right down into the broken fastener in the hole that you've used. And then there's a bolster drive. That bolster drive has slots in it that fit and correspond with that particular tool. And then we can use collars on these to space it out down and then that allows us to have lots of pressure down on top of it. And then we can use a wrench or a socket or whatever your desire is for how we're going to remove this. So over, like, over time of practicing this, it becomes easier, but having a really good kit to do this is a really important part of uh, having the proper tools to do the proper job. So the different styles, so this one here is the pipe tap style, and it doesn't use a sliding screw like this one. So this one can be adjusted. So if we hammer it way in, we bring this down and we tighten up here. It might be going into a really deep hole, a long fastener that's broken off. So then we would put that in. Otherwise, we use spacers on it. Um, this particular style here is for a quarter pipe. And it tells us right on here we use a 2364 drill bit. And it's tapered also, so it gets hammered right down into that broken pipe thread. And then we use the bolster drive on the top here, which is uh, either a 12-point socket or a 12-point wrench on the box end, or even a female square drive to, to take that out. So that's basically the three different types and styles and how they're being used. So the spiral, the taper, and the straight cut or the straight blade style of screw extractors. So, uh, you know, over time of practicing this, you will become better at it, but I wish you well and luck on trying to remove these broken fasteners.